Okay, so this group's all about sharing collaboration, and we think there is a, a phenomenal role for Big to play in being a big strategic framework, setting standards um, and everything from data standards and being very much a leader in this sharing, collaboration, and bringing everything together. Um, and these are the areas in which we thought that could happen. So we thought that aggregation is really important, and that's where we're aggregating what are the community assets and spaces, um, supporting people um, and tools as well. And signposting um, was a really key theme because um, we recognize there's so much knowledge and information out there being thrown at people, and this signposting aspect is really incredibly important. How do you make sense of everything that's out there? Um, Community-led participatory funding, and we thought that was something that was really important um, via public meetings for example. Um, facilitators, we thought this is very much a, a role for big. Um, and we also talked about fun community experiences, bringing together these fun community experiences, proving that you know, sharing is fun and irresistible um, through these different activities, engaging people in this, this idea of this sort of sharing economy. Um, and then also we talked about um, some of the incentives around collaborating and sharing, and we thought that Big could be could provide these incentives both through their funding that you know that that preference and, and incentives will be given to those who are working in partnerships, and the emphasis would be for funding on that partnership and um, collaboration. So that, for example, you could have people, you know, when people, loads of people spend a lot of effort, we heard Toby, from Toby earlier, applying for funding, so it could also be part, a gateway to other funding sources. And also, perhaps, to identify a lead of a project, a consortium, say, it's a great idea, but why don't you work with other people? So create an open source system to pull people in, and possibly enabling people who are looking for funding to have uh, make their projects visible through something sites like Kiva or Lend with Care do with microfinance and developing countries. Another thing about this strategic framework would be around impact networks, around themes and areas to help people to really get real data on their actual impact in terms of outcomes and what the results that their work is achieving. And so that that's used for learning for their own development and sharing and for BIG to use its clout with government and with other agencies to pull the standards into the way people work together. And the other part of that is about long-term support, long-term development. Even although funding pro programs might be short, the program that people are working on is long-term. We run, a, just incidentally, a workshop called 50 Ways to Leave Your Funder, but often it's about finding other ways of getting support, sharing your skills, and to support that. And that goes back to this point about facilitators on the ground. You need people to connect and to learn and help people move on.